Good evening, everyone. Firefighters say that fire started about 2.30 in the morning, and at one point, 24 different fire companies responded. One person is still missing tonight. Tina Shively is in the town of Cash Island, Wyoming County with the latest. Tina? Well, Maureen, hours after the fire started, the scene is still very active here tonight. In fact, smoke continues to rise from the building. I want to give you a look at what it looks like right now as investigators continue to search for clues surrounding a missing woman. She lived on the building's now non-existent second floor, and family members tell me they haven't seen or heard from her since the fire started. It's just one of the struggles this small community is now up against. Castile's government is shut down in a state of emergency. The current Bank of Castile has promised the town and village some office space as a new temporary home. Until then, they set up shop in the fire hall next door. We have no phone servers, we have no desk, we have nothing. It, it very well could be as much as a year before we even get in, in, into our new place. These records, the vital town and village documents, were saved. The village office used to be the old bank and the old safe. The bank was still in there and it was tight and saved all the records in the safe. A woman who lived where investigators believe the fire started on that second floor above her restaurant is missing tonight. Lorraine Beardsley Katermis ran the town gathering spot. She's been here for approximately 15 years of the business and it's very tough. It's a tough situation. A situation that began just before 2 Tuesday morning. Firefighters had to bring in water because hydrants in the village have been shut down for maintenance since the spring. It's also a situation that won't come to an end anytime soon. Neighbors, some who have lived here for decades, hope their home can rebuild what was first built in 1882. It's pretty sad. I grew up seeing that building, you know, my whole life, and uh, it's just not going to be the same anymore. A state and county investigators remain on the scene tonight to try and determine exactly how this fire started. Leaders hope to lift the state of emergency here in Castile by the end of the week. Reporting live, Tina Shively, News 8.